there's no way of putting it other than Wales is awesome. Where, I'm, uh, where am I? I in Gwydir Forest. And it's like just in beautiful little trails and foresty bits. It's really, really dark in the forest. And you come out here, it's blinding, gorgeous sunlight. Wales messes around with you so much. It's like misty and cold and rainy and snowy and windy. And then there's days like this where it's like, it's just utter perfection. There's no other way of saying it, but it's utterly perfect. We're in Gwydir Forest again. Um, can't stop coming back to this place actually, to be honest. Now, what we've got here is Joe's number one Narcissus Lux. So, the first titanium bike we ever built. Pretty much the blueprint for where we took the brand as a whole. When we first made our Narcissist in steel, it was in Reynolds 853. And one of the restrictions we had was that the tubing on the top tube and down tube was a lot shorter than what we wanted to use. And we had a couple of restrictions on the rear chain stays where we wanted to kind of be able to bend and manipulate them for, for clearance, but we couldn't either because we didn't have the tooling to do it. So what, what happened was we kind of reached out to a few of our, sort of like our friends and said, did, did anyone want a titanium bike? And um, this was the result of that experiment. It's kind of a, apart from one thing, I think it's a case of right first time, really. Um, our current range of bikes, the, the Shrike and the Sesh, and probably Deathwish, come just from this frame. Um, the only thing we've changed is the, uh, the downhill bottom bracket. The reason we had it at the time was there was no way of us really getting the tire clearance we want. We wanted to be able to fit a three inch 29er tire in there. And it is a 29er. I realized that it looks like a regular sized bike, uh, but it's not, it's just massive. Um, and we had to use a, uh, a downhill bottom bracket shell in there, which really limited the amount of cranks that we had. And I didn't know that would happen. I didn't think about it until it became a problem. Now we've managed to solve that with some ingenious kind of metal bending. So yeah, we're, we're good with that now. But this bike is, is it two years old? Yeah. So it's two years old now, two years, roughly? One and a half. One and a half, two years old. And this, this become de facto the kind of, yeah, the blueprint that we'd use for everything. Thank <laughs> you. 